Hey guys, welcome to Dodgers Gaming Corner. Today I'm going to check out a game called Spellbound Spire. Um, it is on Steam right now for free. So I'm going to be actually playing this on my Oculus Quest through Virtual Desktop. So that way you'll be able to get an idea of how it looks on my Oculus Quest using Virtual Desktop. Um, it's one of those games that uses your environment where you walk around and it changes with each turn. Um, I really like that concept. I've played a couple games in the past like that before. So I'm really excited to check this one out and I'm excited to go back in and finish this game and then maybe update this with more thoughts. Um, so I would like to do that. But before I get into this video, if you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, smash that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's go check out this game. Alright, so it starts out with a button. And then over here you can opt in for analytics to improve the game. So I just did that. And then you can adjust your play space. I barely adjusted it. I have heard from others that if you make it too small, some feel a little motion sickness. So I wouldn't go too small anyways. Um, I don't have a huge environment where I live to do this, but it seemed to work out really well. Um, I did go in this twice. This is my second time coming in here. And the first time I did run into my couch a couple times because I didn't adjust my play area well enough. But once I did that, it seemed to work really well. And I did hit a couple glitchy spots while playing, but nothing, no big deal. So um, I, for all in all, like I had really great uh, gameplay, the graphics are really amazing. Um, I was super impressed with the graphics for this game. So there's a lot of potion bottles. I just like breaking them. And that's what I'm going to do. So you're going to keep walking around. You're going to see a bookshelf. More potion. Little bottles. And we were just downstairs and now we're upstairs super quick and then we're gonna come around and then you'll see a book with a snail and more potion bottles So keep coming around. Like I said, it changes with each uh, turn, which is really nice. So grab that and put it right on there. And then the first door is going to open for you. And then I grabbed this one because in this next room, we're going to need it. Unless there was another one I could have grabbed. But So push the button and put that there. And another door opens. Just the just hats off to the developers for this one. Uh, the graphics are amazing. It works really well with my environment. Works really well with my Oculus Quest. So push, pull the lever, and you'll see downstairs that that comes up. And I have, like I said, I have played games like this before. Uh, they are one of my favorite types of games, and I should have grabbed that snail, I think. So when I go back in, I'm going to grab it. And then I just break this with my hand. And then you'll see this little purple come back, and another door. And some really cool empty space underneath. So we'll come back, we're coming around. Did 
take a look out there. Looks really cool. We're gonna come around. And we need that right there. So we're gonna pick that up and put it right here. And that opens the door and now we need this one, the orange one as well. So we're gonna come around. And put it right there. And another door. So we're gonna come around and push the button and watch something really cool happens and then another door opens. come around. Okay, the first time I played this part, I spent way too much time in this room. You can go to the left, and I'll show you. So you can't pick them up. So, that, that leads to nowhere. So you want to go in the middle. Go in the middle, and look to the right not to the left and there's another hallway I spent way too much time in this room the first time don't be like me just go in go through the middle and go to the right and then we're in another room so we're gonna come out and go out this way to the left and grab that right there we need that I mean, look at the graphics, I mean... So, we're gonna put the green one in here. And we're gonna come around. Like I said, a couple parts it got a little glitchy, slow, but that may just be my computer or my house you know just being slow so grab that one right there and we're gonna put this with the blue So we're going to come around and you're going to notice something really different <laughs> when we go in this next room. Oh look! Everything's upside down. So we're going to come in. I didn't try to go down or up, down, that hole. I just, so you're going to come through this little really cool purple cloud veil and we're going to go in there and you're going to see that right there. We need that on the pillow. So you can grab it, but you can't leave out the door with it. There, you have to do it a different way, which I will show you in a moment. 
So when you walk out with it, it disappears. So we have to go back in. So this time when you grab it, throw it up there and make sure it goes all the way up. The first time I did this, it ended up coming back on the pillow. So then I had to do it again. So now you can leave. And it's right there. So you want to grab it? I was scared. I didn't want to fall down the hole or up the hole, whatever. You know what I mean. So come back out. And we're going to go put this one back with the other two. So head on over to Steam, download this. Um, like I said, I'm playing it on the Oculus Quest. Not a lot of issues. It's a great game. It's free. I don't know how long it's going to be free for. Check it out. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And let me know what you think of this concept of games. Um, I think we need a new one, a fun house or something Halloween type. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.